Hello everyone, welcome to DevOps Lover YouTube channel. So in some previous video, we have uploaded some video tutorials about learning Jenkins. So you can learn Jenkins from the start or from the scratch. You can set up Jenkins by using Docker, by using Docker volume, and you can start creating Jenkins jobs. After creating Jenkins job, you can install multiple plugins, you can do multiple integrations, and you can have your jobs as per your requirement. So in some previous videos, we learn about all these use cases and how to check logs or how to create the job. So as you know, Jenkins is an continuous integration and continuous deployment tool. So we can integrate Jenkins with various integration. So Git is also that one of the integration which we can integrate Jenkins for creating job. So in SDLC cycle, this is very important step. You need to clone the Jenkins code in the Jenkins was process and do require automation like build and deployment on top of it. So this is first step, like you have to integrate Jenkins with GitHub. So in this video, we are going to understand what are the steps required for that and how we can create job for integration of the Jenkins and what are the prerequisites we require for that. So in meanwhile, in, in case you don't have subscribed this particular channel, let's subscribe it and learn the day ops from the scratch. And you can learn the day ops various tools from the basic to advanced. So let's subscribe it if you haven't uh, subscribed it yet. Coming back to on today's topic, today we are going to understand how the Git and Jenkins are integrated, how we can create the Jenkins job by using Git and Jenkins. So there are some prerequisites. You should have idea about the Git, Jenkins, and Docker. In case you don't have idea about this, let's go over on my channel and just search about these tools and you can get the idea about this or video tutorial about this. So I will also add this video tutorial links in description. The Docker is used for the container uh, thing or virtualization. Jenkins is used for continuous integration and deployment. That is also a tool. And Git, Git is used for the SCM source code management system. So in SDLC cycle, this is a very first step. We need to clone our code and we can create multiple jobs for this. So you can create freestyle job from Git integration, or you can create also the pipeline job, which is also very important area. And for pipeline job, you require Jenkins file, or for that, you require some scripting basic knowledge. So let's understand how to do that. So in some previous video, we understand how the Jenkins is working, how we can do or create a job. So in previous video, we learn about how we can create freestyle job and you can go on that particular video and let's understand that how it works. So in today's video, let's say if we have to do some Git integration, like we have to clone our particular job, how to do that. So you can create the new job. Let's say I'm doing demo Git integration i'm creating freestyle job for that and i'm selecting on okay so once that is done you will be understand all these settings and you can save it so right now i didn't have integrated anything with the job i can execute build now option and check the logs are there now the next step is I have to check like how the Git integration works. So for that, you request some particular plugins about the GitHub. And once that is installed, you can able to see source code management option. So here you can choose Git. And once that is done, you can add the repository URL. So you can integrate private Git repo as well as public Git repo. So in this example, I'm going to show how you can integrate the git public repository so let's say you are having the git account and you can check like this particular integration is there or you you are having the git repository with you so 
let's see uh, i'm having some git repository so the opsmash that is the git repository for me there are multiple branches how to create branch how to create repository i have already created one session on this let's say this git repository is there and this is your application code which is maintained on scm platform which is github you can copy this particular URL, which is the HTTPS URL. And you can mention that here. So once you mention that, you can also check which branch you want to build. So here, so right now we have added master. So master branch is also there. So it will start cloning of that particular branch once you're done with integration. Let's say, save this. Now, we can able to see, let's say, you can verify the build now option. And here you can check logs like it had started that particular clone option. And you can able to see all cloning is working fine. And it has cloned that particular branch with the code base of the configured GitHub. So this is how you can integrate git with your job or jenkins and you can able to see what it has cloned so this is an one of the example in workspace you can able to see what what files are cloned so these files are came from the github so i hope you understand how this particular integration work how we can clone the git repository and once we clone that, we can automate other next steps as well. Like let's say we have to do Maven build, we have to send email, or we have to send Slack notification or anything like Docker build and deployment process too. So I hope you understand this very first step, how to integrate Jenkins with GitHub. So this is one example, as, as I have explained, the in the first topic how we can create freestyle jobs by integration git that we have covered right now second part we can also create pipeline based job or jenkins integration so let's understand how to do that you can click on new item um, you can add like demo pipeline job Git integration and here you can add pipeline in previous job which we have selected that was freestyle job and where you can configure multiple settings with some manual options that is supported by freestyle project then there is another option which is pipeline job which is working on with the Jenkins file support so let's see how to do that you can click on pipeline then you can click on ok once you have done this this job will be created and in this particular job it will ask for the scm you can add like pipeline scm option Here also, you can select the GitHub and you can add same URL of your pipeline job where Jenkins file is available in this particular repository. You can add that particular core bus there as well. So you can add this reference for GitHub. You can also mention the pipeline branch and you need to specify it will be from pipeline yes once that is done you need to mention jenkins file path so this jenkins file is available on parent location that's why i have added jenkins file then i click on save button now you can build it and check it's executing as per your jenkins file code
So here you can able to see this particular pipeline execution has started and it's executing as per this Jenkins file code. So it's having multiple stages with this. Um, in every stage, I have printed echo with means PWD with echo command. And here I'm waiting for user input. So this is how you can customize you, your Jenkins file as per your requirement. You can add any configuration, any setting and any build command. So this is an one example how to do that. And you can also able to see pipeline view by using open blue ocean option. So here you can able to see how this pipeline is loading and you can able to deploy any application in the production or any particular environment. So this is also a very interesting thing. You can install blue ocean plugin for that. And once that is done, you can create the pipeline based job and that particular view is available for you. So this is, these are very simple step how to automate your build by using Jenkins and Git integration and by using Jenkins file. So in next some videos, we are going to understand how we can do multiple configuration with Jenkins file, like sending emails, sending Slack or building Docker container or building Maven container as part of this Jenkins video series. I hope you understand how we have integrated GitHub and how we have created two jobs like freestyle job as well as pipeline job. You can also add the pipeline based approval part by using Jenkins. So this is particular syntax. You can use this input library with GUI script syntax and you can add the particular messaging and code inside Jenkins file. And based on that, your build will be work. So here it, it's waiting for user input. And once that is approved or rejected, that pipeline will work appropriately. We can also do the restart from that particular stage via pipeline. So once you have restarted that from that particular stage, it will work only from that particular stage and skip the previous states. And now you can select on yes. Once you selected on yes, it will proceed with next step. This is how you can visualize the Blue Ocean UI as well as the Jenkins integration and pipeline syntax for this. So in this tutorial, we understand how we can integrate any public Git repo with the Jenkins and we can create freestyle job as well as pipeline job. You can also integrate the private Git repo and for that you require some settings. You need to add particular credentials for your GitHub account and where that we need to add. For public Git repo, it don't require any credentials for that, but for private repo, you need to add the credentials here. And based on that, only your GitHub part or that clone for private repository will work. So you can have the central Jenkins setup for all your dev QA members, and then you can start this integration and build and deployment flow. I hope you understand how we can integrate changes with GitHub and how we can create this multiple job or integrations. In next few videos, we, we will going to learn about Jenkins file and this various syntax of the Jenkins file. So Jenkins is a very important tool and giving this particular capabilities or flexibility to us or having multiple jobs or integrations or open source or community support. So by using Jenkins, we can develop our continuous integration and continuous deployment cycle and automate our SDLC flow. So uh, let's subscribe this channel if you haven't done it and start learning about Jenkins. Not only Jenkins, there are various tools and technologies, latest stuff I have added on DevOps Lover channel. You can able to learn Kubernetes, Docker, Jenkins, and Ansible or multiple DevOps related tools and text Thank you.